Minneapolis suburb is recovering after a night of violence. Angry protest over a deadly police shooting led to looting and rioting in Ferguson, Missouri. 18-year-old Michael Brown died Saturday after a struggle with an officer. Brown was shot several times. Police say he was unarmed. The Brown family believes the officer should be fired and arrested. Reports say the Browns have hired the same lawyer who represented, represented the family of Trayvon Martin. Dean Reynolds is in St. Louis with the fallout. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, the problem here is that the police and the local community remain at odds over exactly what happened on Saturday, and tensions remain high. A peaceful vigil and demonstration last night turned into rioting and looting of stores, including this one. People have broken in. They're looting the whole business. A scene of chaos and destruction in the city of Ferguson, Missouri overnight. Looters smashed storefront windows and loaded up their cars with anything they could get their hands on. Tires were taken from this auto shop, and across the street, more looters cleared out a beauty supply store. Five to six shots just now. Walmart has barricaded themselves, all the employees inside of the store, and looters are breaking in. We need justice now! The night of violence was in stark contrast to the peaceful demonstrations earlier in the day, sparked by the death of 18-year-old Michael Brown on Saturday. He was nothing but a gentle giant. He wouldn't have harmed anyone. He put his hands in the earth. Dorian Johnson said he was walking in the middle of the street with Brown when a Ferguson police officer drove up and told the men to get on the sidewalk. There was apparently a struggle between Brown and the officer. Johnson says the officer started choking Brown and tried pulling him into the police vehicle. His weapon was drawn and he said, I'll shoot you or I'm going to shoot. And in the same moment, the first shot went off. Witnesses claim the officer then got out of his patrol car and opened fire while the unarmed teen ran away with his hands up. The victim's mother couldn't contain her emotion. You took my son away from me. You know how hard it was for me to get him to stay in school and graduate. Now, the local NAACP has called for a meeting here later tonight to try to cool things off. The police just told us they made 32 arrests overnight and at least a dozen stores were looted here. A lot of looting going on and now we are at yet another location that is being looted as we speak. Bobby Hughes in the Mazda Roadrunner is on scene and he joins us now with what's happening. Bobby? That's right, guys. Yeah, I was just at the sporting goods store and then looked behind me in the shopping centers. There's at least three more uh, stores being looted at this point. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, windows being smashed, people running out with clothing. Uh, I have noticed that a lot of these vehicles that are, are involved in this, a lot of the tags have been removed from those cars uh, as these uh, looters continue to, uh, to uh, go through these stores and uh, carry out everything they can carry. Uh, several clothing stores here, a tennis shoe store, a mobile store, uh, just uh, people running out with armloads of clothing, uh, throwing it into any kind of car that's uh, waiting on them. So uh, no police presence in this area. They were just here just a few moments ago and left and went to another area. But uh, people continue to loot along here, uh, Lucas and Hunt and West Florida. Yeah, Bobby, is it a huge crowd of people? Because I can see several individuals coming out of a business right now. That looks like some sort of a, an electronics, no, clothing store looks like that young man is coming out of the is store that? with an uh, arm full of clothing. That's right. Uh, yeah, it's DTLR is the story. It's, and I have those uh, security chains on the front window, but uh, all of a sudden everybody's run out to the car and uh, has uh, taken off from this area. I had one individual uh, drive up and uh, uh, tell me, he said, this makes no sense at all. Why are our people doing this? And uh, that's been the case up here this morning is uh, a lot of people are uh, just frowning on what's happening to uh, some of the businesses at the floors that we're uh, uh, Right at 270 in Lucas and Hunt uh, by the Home Depot, there's uh, several different stores in this building here that uh, police are trying to contain as uh, uh, they keep making rounds through here, checking for any any uh, broken into uh, places they can find. But I personally have counted probably 10, 10, 12 stores broken into, windows smashed in this area. But uh, as you can see from the Mazda Roadrunner video, these individuals uh, just just diving right through that. Uh, plate glass window rushing in and just a moment you'll see uh, people coming out with armloads of, uh, of uh, merchandise here. Uh, 
uh, in this uh, North County area. But uh, uh, yep. just uh, as Chris Higgins reported, it looks like it may be settling down. Some of the road traffic, some of the cars on the streets, it seems the traffic seems to be dying down just a little bit. But uh, as you're looking at video here, you can see that uh, people are still uh, looting these stores in this North County community. All right, Bobby, thanks so much. Luna Ransom. The log. Wow. Let's go. Start with these kids out here. I wish you would. I wish you would start with these babies out here. I do you. You know my face. I know you know me. Revolutionary won't be televised. Exactly is this store in relation to Zisser Tire and Auto Service that was on Chambers and West Florissant? That's just right across the street. It's on the uh, northwest corner of the uh, of the where the tire store was that was being looted. But uh, I've seen uh, a lot of people uh, pulling up here. A lot of a lot of people coming up to watch that seem to be uh, getting involved in this and then starting to uh, to take take part in this uh, looting. Yeah, so it seems like this is a different group of people, or would you say these are the same individuals that were at Zissers? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are showing up. Uh, I see a lot of people with uh, alcohol uh, sitting on their cars. Uh, they seem to be uh, rooting these people on as they go into these stores. Uh, then some of those people will run over. I saw a car that had pulled up just next to me, and uh, I pulled out of the area because this store was just right behind the uh, Mazda Roadrunner, and. Uh, as I pulled away, I noticed the people that were in the car next to me got out and started uh, partaking in this looting. So uh, I'm kind of moving around. I'm in a Walgreens parking lot here, which is just jammed, but uh, not not uh, not a police car on the scene. And monitoring my scanner traffic, I understand that the uh, quick. 